I'm sure you can agree that at some point or another in a man's life, they are going to experience anxiety when it comes to dating women. And I've put this video together in the hopes that so many men can resonate with this and see that everyone suffers from the same anxieties and issues, okay? This isn't something for you to feel like that you are in it on your own and no one understands what you're going through. I want you to understand that these four anxieties that I'm going to share with you is something that everyone experiences at some point or another in their dating lives. And this can be either during like when they're cold approaching during the day or at night, or it could even be through online dating, especially if they're going to be meeting a stranger and uh, putting the pressure on themselves for something to potentially happen. So first anxiety that I'm sure you've probably experienced, or definitely I know a lot of men, including myself actually in this one, have experienced, and that is the anxiety over self-image. A lot of guys feel really bad about themselves. They don't like how they look. Their insecurities maybe get the better of them, or maybe they just do have generally an insecurity about themselves that they don't like and they feel like they are dealing with. And for me, this was certainly something growing up, or at least over the last decade, was something that was a bother for me. Now, you might not believe it, but you know, you might look at my hair and go like, wow, he's got amazing hair. Or you probably wouldn't be even looking at my hair until I've just mentioned it. But believe it or not, I have actually had a hair transplant and a lot of my hair had fallen out on the top. And in fact, I will uh, link uh, to the card for you to actually check out my video on my other channel. Uh, so you can have a look at my, uh, my transformation on my journey that I went on with my hair. But I mention this because, you know, for me, my hair was an insecurity. And especially when I was dating women, I just felt like this, like, oh, they're not going to like me because my hair is falling out or they're not going to be attracted to me because I've got a bald patch or bald patches on my head. And it was a real concern for me. And one thing that I certainly end up teaching or helping like my clients with is saying to them like, okay, well, if something's a bother, you need to work on it. What can we do to fix this so it is not an issue for you anymore? And for me, I then looked into getting a hair transplant. And then of course I went through the transformation and a year later after my hair had fully grown back and more, you know, I had this, you know, fantastic result, which I was really proud of. And this certainly changed the way in how I felt about myself. And it then came across certainly in the dates that I was going on where I was able to be more confident not thinking about my body issues. Now, for other guys, this could be their fashion sense, it could be their physique. And I want you to consider that, you know, if you've got these anxieties about certain things with your body, or just even this look uh, about you as well, then you can do something about it. Don't just wallow in your own misery over it and let it just sort of rule your life because you will find that it will make it even more difficult for you to date women if you've got this limiting belief about yourself that they're not going to be attracted to you because of how you look. And as you'll certainly see in other videos that I've got, you know, where I talk about that this is just nothing more than a limiting belief. This is in your head, not someone else's. So how you perceive yourself is going to be very different to how others perceive you. But there is something to be said in the level of confidence that you can portray to people. And if you're not confident in your own body, then that will certainly show to other people as well. So point or uh, reference number one with uh, the anxieties that men get when they're dating women is, you know, if you're not happy with how you look or certainly feel about yourself, then change it, work on it. Don't let it control or ruin your life. Now, the second one, and this is certainly one that I have seen with a lot more of the, uh, the cold approach side of things. So this is 
just for for clarity this is when if uh, a man sees a woman maybe either during the day or at night he will go over and say hello and there is nothing uh no uh there's no connection prior to that so the girl doesn't know the guy uh they are complete strangers in that moment but he wants to strike a conversation to get to know her better so he can then proceed to actually asking her out on a date and getting a number of course as well. So over the years, one of the biggest issues that guys have is the anxiety or fear of rejection. And this is certainly something that every guy experiences. And that usually happens when they haven't got enough experience in their lives of more positive approaches that they've had happen or where they've had people be very supportive to them of if you go and talk to a stranger you know the craziest or worst case scenario stuff is not going to happen so for guys who are certainly suffering from rejection you know if they're scared to go and talk to a woman that they are attracted to or who could be very beautiful and not even just that but they could just be scared to ask a question and they in their minds play the worst case scenario happen where like They could just go over and ask for directions and they'll think like the SWAT team are going to just come out of nowhere and just arrest them for, you know, misorderly conduct. And, you know, and it's crazy. I know hilariously for me, many years ago, I was petrified of the idea of talking to strangers. And weirdly, and this is probably because of movies that I'd watched, I had this weird thought in my head that if I talk to someone, they're going to pull out a mace and then they're going to spray me in the eyes. And then I'm going to be like screaming in pain and stuff. And and that's absurd. You know, it was a really, really like, like silly idea to have, but through doing approaches through a lot of exposure therapy and desensitization to the situation and certainly changing my understanding of how people certainly interact with each other. So getting more knowledge and wisdom over um, just again, just how people uh, interact and socialize. It taught me and gave me new reference experience that said, talking to people is absolutely okay. Unlike what we're taught as kids, talking to strangers is fine, you know, and that could be something else as well. You may have had like experiences when you were younger that certainly told you like, no, you can't do this. You can't talk to strangers. And that has unfortunately stuck with you, especially as you've grown up into an adult that has then prevented you from, you know, living a normal life because you are still going on certain memories or thought processes from when you were little. So, For this second one, you know, uh, the biggest anxiety that certainly a lot of people suffer from is rejection. And that comes from just the lack of experience and knowledge of how the experience is meant to be and how it will be experienced for, for them as well. You know, I have, after seeing, after seeing like, like, tens of thousands of cold approaches on the street you know i can honestly say like over like the last 10 15 years i could probably count on one hand how many like horrific rejections i have seen you know so it, it, it's very very rare that you will have a bad experience by talking to a stranger. But that's not to say though that, you know, first impressions certainly matter. You have to present yourself in a really nice way if you want to get at least, you know, a much more warm experience, you know. And uh, and I give the example of like, if you are dressed in a tracksuit and you're putting your hoodie on and you're going out and, uh, and then talking to people, anyone would be absolutely petrified of you they would probably think that they're going to get mugged whether it be day night wherever you know and if you're not going over in a presentable way and at least with maybe like a smile on your face then you know you have to then question that well why wouldn't someone reject you and then you can't take that to heart if you're not seeing the bigger picture of like maybe my self-image is what is scaring people here and it is what's causing me uh, the anxiety or this fear of rejection. So again, there are minor tweaks that you can make with this. And 
The next one are certainly past that point of rejection. If someone either overcomes that or that wasn't an issue for them, one of the other issues that they tend to face is the anxiety of running out of things to say and embarrassing themselves. Uh, I'm sure you have probably been in the circumstance yourself, whether it be on a date or with just someone you've met, maybe not even in the realm of dating. It could even be just through socializing and you have just run out of things to say. Your brain has gone flat. Maybe you've either just run out of questions. Maybe you were just really shy or anxious about meeting that person and the uh, the nerves have just got the better of you and your brain has just gone blank. This is something else that every guy has experienced and all you can really do in those situations is either call out the elephant in the room and say to the person you're talking to, sorry, I'm, I'm really nervous. I, I'm, I, I think you're really attractive, but you know what? My brain has just gone blank, you know, or maybe you can even be honest and maybe you had like a late work night. You can say to someone like, you know what? My my brain is absolutely fried night right now. Um, I had a very busy day yesterday, and you know I I cannot I can't think straight. I can't think straight. You know, and other people are going to appreciate uh, a level of honesty with that. You know, and even in like uh, cold approaching, if you were to stop someone on the street, you can quite honestly say like, look, this was totally unorthodox with me to come over and talk to you, and very spontaneous of me as well, and. I have absolutely put myself on the spot here and now I have no idea what to say. I don't usually get the opportunity to stand in front of a girl that I'm really attracted to, especially uh, in such a strange circumstance. Um, and you, you could either like stand there mute or just say like a really boring question like, how's your day going? And she will be absolutely okay with that. And if you do it in a really charming and charismatic way, she'll be really supportive. And if she likes you, then absolutely, she will give you every opportunity to try and get her phone number. Uh, however awkward or, or strange it might feel, she will give you at least the time of day. And especially what I've seen, I've seen people who have done some terrible approaches. It's gone horribly wrong, but they have still walked away with a phone number. So never be afraid of running out of things to say. It happens to everyone. And all you can really do with that is either own the situation or be better prepared for those situations. Have an idea of things that you want to talk about if you are going out and talking to people. You know, if let's say maybe you are developing a hobby, have some ideas of things you can talk about with that hobby. Or if you're meeting people of a particular culture or background or religion or something, have an idea of things that you might want to ask them about it, or at least be really curious about stuff. And in fact, curiosity is one of the best forms of communication or building social skills. Just asking someone, can you tell me more about this? And the last one, which maybe you may or may not end up relating to, and this is something that, yeah, my uh, my client friend did bring up, and uh, that was performance anxiety. You may have had a great interaction with a girl that you've gone on a date with, and you've either gone back to yours, gone back to hers, whatever, and you are about to have sex. And um, a lot of guys... Do believe it or not, especially if there are any women watching this, they do get caught up in their head and they get concerned if they are going to get an erection or not. And then sometimes this perpetuating cycle plays out where they don't get an erection because they are thinking too much about not getting the erection. And then it just, the cycle goes around and in the end, they just end up don't get an erection. <laughs> uh, so their performance anxiety gets the better of them and they get caught in their head. Or maybe they are just out of practice and they are nervous, or maybe they are with someone that they are uh, incredibly attracted to. And it's, and you know, the idea of them being naked is um, quite a vulnerable thing as well, believe it or not. And so guys do get anxious with that. 
And in fact, I even remember a time uh, in the dating community many years ago where actually guys would walk around with Viagra. If they were going out to either practice cold approaching or if they were just out genuinely doing work and whatnot and they knew that they were going to be talking to people on their way to completing their errands, then they would have Viagra on them uh, because they were anxious that, you know, if they did run into someone that they were attracted to and things took off and led from, you know, one thing to another that, you know, that with how fast the interactions were going, that they did get performance anxiety and they did have themselves prepped. So all you can really do with that and whether it even be maybe some traumas that you've had in the past or you are nervous, just take deep breaths and even then you could even be honest to your partner and say, look, just so you know, it's been a little while since I've had sex. Um, Or, you know what? You are really beautiful. You are one of the most beautiful people that I've been with. I'm a little bit nervous. She is not gonna sort of be disappointed in you. In fact, she will be even more welcoming uh, to you with the circumstance and she will do what she can to, to make sure that you both have a great time. So I hope that you get something out of these different uh, these different uh, anxieties that guys certainly struggle with. I, I would love to know your thoughts if you want to be honest uh, about how maybe if you resonate with any of these, if any of these have happened to you and maybe what you did to overcome them as well, uh, if you're comfortable with doing so. And certainly if you do struggle with any anxieties that you want to get get rid of, then I am an integral eye movement therapy specialist. So I can remove those negative memories and hopefully help you to move on in life with stuff as well as I'm also a life coach and I can help to hold you accountable with overcoming certain issues as well. So like, subscribe to the channel and the video. I'd love to hear your comments below and uh, look forward to more content, which uh, I will hopefully put out tomorrow. So that will help you and your anxiety too.